Most people realize the hypocrisy of Brendan Schaub. I mean, it's pretty clear and apparent whenever he opens his mouth. And in this particular video, we are going to go ahead and explore the gearhead in Baba. Because for those who don't know, Brendan Schaub claims to always have been a gearhead and that he loves the chase of the build. So let's look at a couple things he said in the past and relate it back to the direct future and present time. Because when you claim something keep the same energy all right so check this out uh nothing uh, triggers me more than guys in cars i hate engines. rep i tell myself when we go to the car show i go that that's for guys who uh don't have you know who you are know really insecure yeah. When, when you're in an idle... Oh my god, what are you doing? Dude? Sounds like a NASCAR. It sounds pretty badass. Listen to that air whistle. For I know, it's turbo. <laughs> also, you didn't build now. the car. Why are you... I, when we go to the car show and guys are like, you like my Ferrari? It's like, you didn't build it. Why are you acting That's like pretty it? funny, actually. You have yeah, nothing right. to do with it. My happiness comes from the build. The chase of the build. That's what I love to do. Yeah. You just bought it. Yeah. Why are you acting like this? A good thing I souped up this lightning to over 600 horsepower. This Ford Lightning that I hooked up. They want to show it's you like stuff. security at the club. They're, they're all arrogant. Like you don't own the club, dude. You're right. minimal. Oh, um, do I do like a Raptor build? Did I send you the video of it shooting fire on the highway chain? No, I didn't get it. I can send it. Wow. For the fans, just so they know. Now that was beautiful. This is the shit that we're all here for. And we don't even need to roast this bonehead. Brendan Schaub does it all himself literally every time he opens his mouth. Schaub's a human contradiction. He has no idea who he is. So his default setting is to be both. Well, depending on the environment in front of him. Brendan went from driving Porsches and Ferraris to Ram trucks. Seems like a hell of a drop off to me. And here we thought Brendan Schaub had been modeled modding cars since he was 16. Every car he has ever owned, he modded. He's got the best brains for the modding arts, only because he decided to just recently make that public and make his whole blue-collar mechanic personality. It doesn't mean Schaub was lying, okay, guys? Calm down. It just slipped his mind for the past 27 years that he was a car-modding, blue-collar individual. I mean, just the quote, my Porsche sounds like a NASCAR, is like saying this spaghetti tastes like a hot Hot dog. Brendan's a real wordsmith. I had no idea that NASCARs had flat plane, flat six cylinder turbo engines. What a goddamn poser, man. It's like saying someone plays basketball like an NBA. And those close up shots of Brendan make me realize I forget that's a mustache on his lip and not a caterpillar. Keep chasing those wheels and valves, Papa. Because I swear to God, if you wanted to make me laugh, Shab, you got me, brother. Look, guys, poor Shab just wants to fit in so bad, but just ends up making himself look like a complete douchebag when he's constantly contradicting himself all the time. This guy seriously needs to be studied. He's got to be an alien life form trying to be a human. I refuse to believe he's any kind of intelligent being. Don't forget 32 on his ACT, Papa. Actually, he got a 32 on his SAT. That's more like it. It's kind of like that movie Split where he has several different personalities. He brings out depending what time of day it is and who he's around. Running job, absolute fraud. I'm sure the future Netflix documentary on Baba is going to be great. But I got a serious question for y'all. How does Brendan go through life and not realize how effing redacted this all is? How does Shab fit in those things? It's like a straw in his lips, tight. He's got denim labias, naturally aspirated NASCAR V8, and turbo boosted Porsche Flat 6. Virtually identical. Inside, Brendan hates his own self on the outside. Yeah, I'm a philosopher, B. I think you'd be surprised. Add another contradiction for the list, Bubba. Because it's the chase of the build. Talking about the holy grail for gearheads. Always chasing that next high. Us mere pedestrians and civilians would never understand that, so thank them. Sometimes I wonder if Brendan Schaub is learning in reverse. How is he able to make it through a day, let alone an hour or minute? Are we 
be the ones who are redacted here. Someone please seriously help. I'm getting really confused right now. I'm actually starting to panic. And remember this, folks. Most guys that build cars always say souped up. It's facts. I swear to God. Google it. Brendan's never built a single car in his life. So carry on now. Carry on. Watching this video clip was like uh, watching a parody. I've seen people contradicting often, but Shab is truly on a different level than everyone else. The dude's got zero self-awareness, but he's a brilliant thinker. If I had even one instance of being this stupid, I'd be crippled by embarrassment and never leave the house again. There's no way this guy isn't a sociopath. And for an alpha male, he sure gets triggered a lot, mostly by stuff he himself does. A complete fraud of a human being. Anyhow, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, because that's really what matters, even though we don't matter. But hey, do me a huge favor, guys, and hit that like button as well as the subscribe right about now. Also, push the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Man, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Truly, it does. And all the comments that you guys write, really, really brilliant. Very grateful for that. So thank you. But I'll see all of you in the next video. Like, but the Bla Bla Blantiago one, Jesus Christ.